Warren Buffett way. Okay, so number one, you want companies with a high, rocky return on capital employed and low debt. Now, high return on capital employed, that means they are generating annually lots of bang per buck. Okay, I'm not going to do a lot of detail, detail on return on capital employed in this video. Have a look at my related video, what is return on equity, but here's the concept. Okay, lots of bang per buck in profit terms combined with low debt. All right, and high return on capital employed, that just means if you take from a profit and loss account, profit before interest and tax and put it over uh, debt and equity capital employed. That's the capital that's come from shareholders and the capital that's coming from lenders and banks. So one year's profit for interest and tax over total capital employed as a percentage, you get rocky. So in very simple terms, if that was 100 million from the profit and loss account, sterling, that was 500 million adding up shareholders uh, funds and any interest bearing debt employed by the business. 100 over 500 as a percentage is about 20%. All right, so Warren Buffett said you want high return on capital employed with low debt. So you want this to be low. So the interest bill on that debt is also low. And he's absolutely right. All right? An awful lot of banks, for example, have driven up return on equity and return on capital employed by deploying gearing, debt not adding any value. Warren Buffett was saying it's the value you want. It's the ability to, to generate proper operating profits, bang per buck, not some kind of financial alchemy based on borrowing lots of money. All right. So high return on capital, low debt. Now, for anyone thinking that's a bit quick on point one, because there's more points to come, all right, take a look at my return on equity video and also have a look at my um, how you can make money from gearing videos. And I'll explain those in a bit more detail. Right. That's point number one. He didn't get to be the world's richest man by just having one point. All right, so there are a few more tricks of the Warren Buffett trade, if you like. So there's point one. Point two, you want to find companies with predictable earnings. Now, Warren Buffett's broken his own rules a few times recently with one or two of his investments, but that's beside the point. Predictable earnings, you don't want any surprises. All right, you want companies that are going to be there day in, day out. And a feature of his portfolio is a lot of those shares have been there an awful long time. These are not fly by night companies that suddenly gone bust. These are not dot com companies, for example. And Buffett famously avoided the dot com boom and the share price rises that went with it, and also the dot com bust and the pain that went with that. Okay, so steady, predictable earnings, and you want profits backed by cash flow. I'll put profits equals cash flow. Now, uh, analysts rather grandly call this cash cover, but you want to check, for example, that operating profits in the profit and loss account are not a kind of accounting mirage. You want to have a look at the cash flow statement and check that the cash from operations is in line with operating profit. Okay, cash cover is the idea there's lots of cash being generated for lots of operating profits. In other words, this and this bear some resemblance to each other. And Buffett likes that, okay? He doesn't like firms where there's lots of profit being generated and virtually no cash. All right, for more on that, see why do profitable firms go bust? Not by Warren Buffett, by me.